pretty great video. Yes, yes, it shows <laughs> exactly how is MotoGP. Yeah, and there were a lot of numbers on there. We were just talking about a big number for you and the sport. 30. This year is 30 years. Yes, we start in 91, mm -hmm. and the first championship was in the 1992 in, in Japan, in Suzuka. Do you think the sport is better today than it was 10 years ago? Oh, sorry? Is the sport better today than it was 10 yes, years ago? Yes, I think so. I think so. We try to do it. We improve a lot, especially we try to improve uh, the safety. Mm, when we started in the, in the championship, one of the things more important was, uh, obviously, motorsport is dangerous, but we try to avoid that. We have a very close relation with the, with the riders. Mm -hmm. We met with them every, every single week to, to try to improve that. Then that, that gives to us a possibility to, to improve. And we change a lot from the organization point of view. We, in the first race in Suzuka, we were eight people, and now we are more than 500. Then really change a lot the things from, from that moment. What are you hearing from the riders about what they need change in order to feel safer? Well, in principle, the bikes has been changed a lot since uh, 1991 to now. And obviously, the riders are every time fastest. The, the bikes are fastest. The, then mm, the circuit needs to be very, very, very safe. Then we, when we talk with them, it's uh, any kind of uh, uh, possibility we have, any uh, proposal to make a new circuit or to improve the existing uh, circuit is discussed with them during a meeting we have every, every Friday mm -hmm. before the circuit and with the majority of the riders of MotoGP and then we can share with them uh, the best possibilities to be even more safe. And if people haven't seen, there's two of the bikes uh, right outside there. We were looking at them, but you were telling me re something really fascinating about distinguishing the two of them, and specifically about sustainability, because one of them is a Moto e-bike. Well, yes, we, we are working in the sustainability. It's one of the most important uh, issues we have right now. Then we have two ways to, to, to improve the sustainability and to, avoid the, to go to the zero impact uh, in carbon break. Is one is to work with the, with the older manufacturers and with the old, um, all the oil manufacturers to make uh, fuel more sustainable. We will go to 24 with sustainable fuel, uh, and then we will try to, uh, through that, what we are doing is to try to experiment and to show in front of the world that the, these bikes are very sustainable, we, we, we use 20, 21 liters to make a long distance race with a lot of performance. Mm. And if we are successful, and we will be successful to working with the manufacturers and the uh, fuel manufacturers, this is something we can pass to the majority of the uh, people who is using two wheels bike, who is the most sustainable uh, transport for, for many people. Then for us, it's a, it's a challenge to try to have for the uh, Southern Asia, for South America, for many reasons, to have a sustainable fuel to permit to continue using this bike with zero impact in carbon break. And at the same time, we are working uh, hard with a 100% with electric bike mm. to be also second experience. And we are working in both sides, one in the, in the fuel uh, to, to be 100% sustainable and in the electric bike. How, so you don't plan to go fully electric then with MotoGP? We. You, yes. Yes. Well, uh, I have been in, since uh, 1991 in all the races. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to have the temperature every time to know exactly what is necessary. Mm -hmm. We work uh, very hard together with the manufacturer and the circuit promoters. Mm. We know that um, every time we need to improve to give to the fans and the people of the spectators as much fun we can and looking to change the way. The races are always the same, mm. but then the, the evolution of the entertainment is very important and we try to do that with, the, with our promoters. We have 21 promoters and many other waiting to, to be promoting also a race. Then um, we have a maximum of 22 races per season right now. And then we are working with different states and nations to have a, a, a race in a safe circuit. And on the other side, we are working very hard with the manufacturers mm. to try to improve the bikes under the line of sustainability and also the economical impact in the, in the, in the cities and in the places we are. 
What is next in terms of cities? I mean, you mentioned cities. Where, where are you looking to expand uh, the sport and grow the sport more? Clearly in, in South America and in Southern Asia. Um, we, we have not any, is not any uh, race circuit in, 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 in Africa, but in the future is, is, this is a possibility. We cannot, one of the things is we cannot race in, for safety reasons, we cannot race in no permanent circuits. That means we cannot use street circuits because the safety measures is difficult to have, mm -hmm. requirement we have from, from, from our safety commission. Mm -hmm. But uh, clearly our goal is uh, South America and Southern Asia. So any particular cities or countries you're looking at? Well, it's until, until, until we don't have the contract with Nusei, but there's uh, countries as Brazil or India or are interested and we are talking with them. So let's talk about the, the growth potential. Uh, and specifically, I have to ask you about Formula One because that is something that has grown exponentially in the U.S. and, and globally. Uh, you, you used to work in Formula One. Do you, do you see that sport as a, a, a competitor? A, a, is it friendly competition? Or, or where does MotoGP position itself in comparison? Well, we think we, think we are complementary. That means mm. uh, we... I, I know very well Formula One. I, I has been also director of a circuit who promotes Formula One. I, I was in close contact and in fact he was with us in the beginning of the, our business with Bernie mm -hmm. and we work close in, in many things. There are, there are many differences. In, in principle, uh, we are, I think we are more spectacular, <laughs> but they are the in, incredible power of the of the car manufacturers, which is not comparison with the mm. bike manufacturers. Then we are working together. In principle, the main issue we have together is the calendar. You know, we are 21 races, they have 23, and we are both uh, starting in March and finishing in November. Mm. Then to, to collaborate in the creation, the, because many of the broadcasts are the same, then we are working in that. But the, in, in general, the relationship has been fantastic with Bernie and also right now with Stefano Dominicali. Mm. It's, it's, it's our friend since many years ago. So you don't and we, see it as a threat? We, close, we, we were very close with them. So it's not considered a threat to the growth of MotoGP? Well, we, we, we think it's, uh, repeat, I, we are complementary then. <laughs> uh, Formula One has many things who could be important, important for us and we have some of them who are important for them. But in principle, I, I repeat, we, we have been living all, all these 30 years together, working together. Sometimes it's up and down. Mm. Uh, we are better than they are better. But uh, clearly, the Formula One is the first motorsport in the world, mm. and we are very proud to be the second. <laughs> very proud. Well, and uh, just you know, piggybacking off of that, Formula One had Drive to Survive on Netflix, and then MotoGP did MotoGP Unlimited on Amazon. Was that because you saw the success of Drive to Survive? And, and what impact did that have on the sport? Well, re clearly, uh, Drive to Survive has been a big impact in, the, in some markets. We are starting with, a, we start with our, our uh, series. And the moment we are, we don't know yet exactly what is the result. We are working in that. Hmm. But clearly, this is one thing we do now and we will try to do in the future also. Hmm. On streaming? Yes. What about on social media? How, how much of an impact does that have? Well, social media uh, has been very, very... We start early than practically not any motorsport in the world. Hmm. We start very early. We have 40 million followers. And we think this is bringing to us the possibility to know exactly what the, the, the fans and the people need. We are very close connection with them. We are slowly thinking what is the, but we are leading in, in many of the areas of the social media mm. and never is enough, but we will try to continue. This is one of the sources we, we are working hard mm. uh, to, to improve. And as you introduce more electric bikes, how does that affect the show for the people who are watching, as you, you just mentioned? Um, is it still just as exciting of a show, you think, as it was prior? I mean, how are things going to change? Well, we, from the beginning, we say we, we, Dorna is a company who made races mm. and show the races in the best way we can to arrive to uh, almost 450 million mm. uh, homes. Then um, when we decided, because it's the, it's the way and we think it's very important to create an electric series, we do it in the, in the way to make real, real uh, races. Mm. Then this is what we do. 
uh, today, with a, due to the, to the weight of the battery and the duration of that, we are making uh, uh, races around 8 to 10 laps in different the other, the other races. But this is an experience which has been during the last four years with, uh, with uh, one manufacturer, Nexica. Mm. Next year, we will start with, with Ducati and always in the try to improve uh, the things for the future. We, our sport has been always very connection with the, with the industry. Mm. That means every, everything we do, we hope to, to will be used in, in the future in the, in the motorcycle industry. Mm. Then it's for that we are working together with the industry, trying to have the best things we can. And on the issue of the manufacturers, recently Suzuki uh, decided to leave the sport at the end of the season. Did that frustrate you? Did you, did you figure out what it was that they were taking issue with? Well, since, since uh, we start in the championship, always all the sporting, but especially technical uh, changes has been made in, in agreement with all the manufacturers. Mm -hmm. That means it's very important Mm, it, not always all the manufacturer has the same idea, and then it's our duty to try to, to, to balance uh, the different situation and arrive to a situation where all the technical specifications are good for everybody. Mm. Uh, then this is, has been our duty. Uh, we change the rules um, every five years. Mm -hmm. That means, for example, we are in an area now from 20, 22 to 26, mm -hmm. and normally the technical rules, unless for safety issues, we will not change in the middle of the period. Mm. But right now, we are already starting to propose things to the manufacturers mm. to see how will be the regulation in, in 27. Do you plan to bring in another manufacturer in Suzuki's place? Mm, if it's a real... Uh, we, we are okay with the number of bikes we have. Mm. Uh, in fact, we have 24 uh, this year. Next year will be 22. Mm -hmm. Our ideal number um, is 20. Why? Because we, we have a limited time of, of uh, broadcasting television, it's 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. We need to show every, every, everybody. But if a manufacturer comes, a real manufacturer of I who want to invest in the championship and to improve and help to develop one of the technical issues, mm -hmm. of course, we, we, will, we will... You would be open to that. Are you concerned that any of the five that are still there could potentially raise issues with some of the changes that you, you just brought up and potentially walk away as well? Well, we, 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 are, we are okay in, in this moment for that. We think uh, they, they, are, they are happy with the situation. And the moment, uh, well, recently Suzuki announced they will not continue mm -hmm. next year. Um, we were discussing with them because we have a contract for five years with them, but yeah. uh, everybody, if they cannot continue, we, we can accept. But now we, we receive a lot of uh, demands of other manufacturers. Mm. Uh, we are studying how is the program for the new manufacturer if we cover or not. For sure, not next year. Mm. Next year, we will have five, five manufacturers right. and six independent teams. What is your hope for the next season? Because I know now you're on summer break. What, what's your hope for the sport um, just going into to the fall, into the next season, and, and its growth potential? In principle, always our main issue is to, to be safe. Mm -hmm. That means to uh, all the improvements we make in the circuits or whatever, to try to, to continue with the uh, uh, safety of the issues. And second, to, tal to try to, to increase the popularity of MotoGP. One, one matter also is important to us is to have uh, riders from many nationalities. Mm. And for that, we have a program called Talent Promotion, which is improving, especially in Asia, uh, young talents. And we, we have this program in... in in Asia, in Europe, all around the world, and if we reach any young people who is able to, to be okay, we try to help him to arrive to the uh, first to the Junior World Championship and then to the MotoGP. And you were mentioning there's satellite teams, so there, there's big um, team and there's, there's a lot of momentum within the team to continue to grow as well, right? Yes, yes, the, with the team, the relation is very good. We make um, an agreement with them uh, four years ago to try to be more economically sustainable for them. Hmm. That means that the, we, we are right now, uh, uh, the promoter, Dorna, mm -hmm. is the biggest sponsor of all the uh, independent teams. 
that means we make an agreement, we make an agreement with the manufacturers also mm. to provide the bikes in a achievable place, then uh, the relationship with the, with the um, teams is, is crucial for us. Yeah, and it's the cost to, to transport the bikes too, right? It's, it's all, there's a lot of sustainability um, pain points, right, within the sport that have to be addressed. Well, we, we, the, the thing is to have the temperature of everything we do. Mm. That means if we, we are living, uh, if we have a, uh, 20, 21 races during, during the year, it's 20, uh, 21 weekends we are together talking about the, the different things. And we, we think we, are, uh, we have the temperature of, of the, the teams, the championship, the riders, everything could happen, we, we are able to discuss You're between right. us. You're aware. And when you talk about championship, what is, what's your prediction? One of those are championship bikes out there, correct? The bike that's outside? Yeah. What, what's your prediction? Who, who's who's I, I the race, make, I, the rider I never, to watch? I, I, I never oh, make any, any predictions. You know, all, the, all the, the riders are very, very close with, with us and especially with me. Mm -hmm. Then I think it's me as, as CEO of Dorna is predicting something. It's okay. I, I wish all the best to all of them. And to have a lot of competition. The good thing is, right now with the technical issues, we have uh, uh, practically all the manufacturers winning races during mm. during this year. And I hope uh, two years ago we made nine different winners in the in the championship. Mm. I hope this year we can arrive to nine or even more. Well, and you were saying it's very much a mental sport, right? It it, it comes down to sort of the mind of of these riders. Yes, all all the individual sports are are many mental, you know. But uh, motorsport especially is, is something uh, very, very complicated, you know, this is because you are winning a, a race for uh, until the last lap or for 20 seconds and then you failed and you score zero points and the second is 25. Then the mentality, the, the way you are uh, strong in front of the rest of the people is very important and it's for that they are people who are winning and then when they can receive the pressure, they are start to win less or whatever. Mm. Men mentality is so, something very, very important mm. in all the individual sport, but especially in motorsport more. Do you think the pressure is on these athletes and these riders today to be out front the way that, I mean, a lot of athletes are these days. Do you see that, that same trend in MotoGP? Yes. Then, you, you know, one thing it's, uh, MotoGP, we, we, we live together during mm. the weekend. Then it's not many sports that you are mm. uh, living with your competitors during uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then these people are watching the other's competitors and they mm. see exactly what is the mentality. Mm. They know each other. Then this is make uh, MotoGP also special. Mm. You, you know, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, uh, the, the, in, in other competition, you are not living with the, mm. with the competitors. In this competition, you are not meeting during the race. You are all the weekend there. They go to, to, to make a gym or the, the recovery or, or to the physio, whatever. Then it is just make uh, also MotoGP very special. Mm. So there's a unifying factor is what, what you're saying? Yeah. So let's just talk about sort of the next big uh, announcement for, for MotoGP. You mentioned the sustainability, the, the Moto e-bikes. Um, wh what is the next big uh, announcement that you and your team are, are working on in terms of the riders and the racing? We are working especially in the sustainability. Yeah. And that means we are working very hard. We announced right now the, the 24 we will go to sustainable uh, fuel. But also we are working in the, uh, through the calendar uh, to make it more sustainable, the, the ways that they're making the calendar, uh, making less trips and making the, the trips more sustainable. Also, we are working very hard with, we have uh, more than 150 tracks w in Europe moving then. If we obtain this sustainability for the tracks, it will be very, very important. But also, the way we trade, we organize together with the 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 promoter, every single event mm. can collaborate to have a, a world more sustainable. And you have a track here in Qatar as well? Yeah. And, and you'll be back here? Yes, we, Qatar has been, uh, from, we were the first uh, world championship who came to Qatar. Uh, Qatar was the first uh, lighting race uh, in the championship. Uh, next year, Qatar will be not opening the, the championship because uh, uh, is a, they need to have a, a lot of work in the circuit. And then just for one year, we postponed the first race to the 
end of the season, but Qatar is a key issue in the championship. Exactly. We, we have been many historical things has been here in, in Los Ailes circuit in Qatar. Right. Um, we had a question from the audience. It was about Qatar, but also it was about your socks, Carmelo. Uh, people were curious, are, are those bikes on your socks there? This is bikes, yes. <laughs> those are bikes. You carry them with you always. Yeah, exactly. Carmelo, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everybody. Thanks to you. Thank you.